up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie Layton with Robbie Layton Nation and on today's episode, we are headed back out in the snow. We've got the Jeep behind us. We're draping the chains over. We're gonna get them all cinched up and tight. This is so much easier on a hoist. No need for two by fours, no need for nothing. We're ready to go. We're just gonna let it off the hoist, put it on the tow truck and we're out of here. We're locked, loaded, and ready to roll. We've even got the snowmobile with us. Hillbilly thinks that if we get stuck, he needs a way home. I don't want to walk through three and a half feet of snow, five miles. We're headed up back to Indian Ridge where we've got a mess to take care of. First off, they got their dump truck stuck. They went in to try to recover that with their skid loader. <laughs> well, what do you know? They got their skid loader stuck. Our main objective is to get it started today. We have a little dilemma. The vehicles are right there. And we are right here. Blue radiator hose. So it's a good thing Hillbilly had us bring the snowmobile. We got about a quarter mile to go. Got all our essential stuff. Um, we're gonna go do what we need to do and then we will come back. We've actually got some coolant and a radiator hose in the back of the Jeep. So we'll just do a trail repair. There it is in all its glory. What do you think Hillbilly? I am very glad we brought this, my sled. Hey, we brought the right tools for the job. Putting some diesel 911 in there. To make sure Just for in case. We're gonna disconnect the battery. We're gonna try to trick the computer, try to erase some codes. It's on an angle, so it put it into limp mode. Playing in the snow that's inside the cab of this skid loader. Gotta get all the snow out. That's nice. Just snapped right off. Well, at least we'll be able to get the battery cable off, right? Maybe. Okay, here goes nothing. Hillbilly's gonna jump in. We're gonna see if this sucker will start. She gonna start? Fingers crossed. I think we're beating a dead horse. Once we get off the mountain, we're gonna give Matt a call. We're gonna let him know our ideas. I think we're gonna end up dragging that thing out. That'll be for tomorrow. So we're just gonna get the hose changed, get some coolant in this thing, and get back down off the mountain. So we carry ready to use. So you don't have to mix it. It's just ready to go. Got an upper hose. We've got a lower hose too. We're just gonna leave that in here for next time when we blow it out. Get all these zip ties cut. Probably much easier with the battery out. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna do with what we got. I think we should put a little turbo on this after we build the motor. Now, maybe one more thing that can go wrong. Yeah, but that much more horses. Back in business. No big deal. It's always a good idea to carry a spare if you're going to be doing stupid stuff. So Rory's got trail mater. This thing is awesome. It's time to go. Let's roll. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Once we get unloaded, we'll kind of talk. I'll, I'll show on my phone where we're at. We're gonna lift the back of the Jeep so we can put spacers on so that it doesn't sound like a choo-choo train. Hey Rory, do you know what I like to call Robbie? What? Dollar store mats off-road recovery. Yeah? I like trailer trash version better. Oh yeah. Or no, somebody told me today that I'm the I'm the wish version of Matt's off road recovery. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever yeah. hurts you makes me happy. <laughs> Good. And I'm gonna paint this yellow. I'm gonna put Robbie's off road you know recovery. The, you know the paint code. Oh, yes. Yes. I played right into his hand. <laughs> what are we doing? Add Wheel spacers. spacers. Where is it? Yeah. Look, here's our choo choo train. Yeah, stuff. they need it pretty bad. Okay. These rough country spacers better work. Everybody keeps saying we need a Lizzie on the channel. Well, we've got her filming today. Oh yeah. Actually, we ordered a new Lizzie off of Wish. I don't know how to weld. <laughs> yeah, no legitimate off-road recovery guy would ever run leaf springs. 
Only the wish version. Yeah. So instead of smacking the leaf springs, now we're just gonna smack here. What road are we going up? This one. It's gonna turn back. It's gonna go through a yellow gate. We're going up that canyon. Way up there. Yep. <laughs> this is only like the fourth or fifth time I've done this in the last like month. Okay, so we're leading the way in the Jeep. We got Matt and his crew and Bombi right behind us. And then we've got Rory and Trailmater with Lizzie behind them. If you look straight ahead, see that cabin? See where the two valleys come together? That's where we're headed. So I can see the trucks. Right up here, I'm gonna stop and show Matt. This is uncut trail except for a snowmobile that I drove out yesterday. Okay, let's go. Trail mater's coming in. No chains at all. And trail too big or too small? Maybe too small. So I don't think thought was involved with this. This isn't the road either. Yeah, what the world was this? Hillbilly's gonna grab the jumper box so we can get this Ford started. Uh, well, don't walk that door. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got that hooked. Rory's gonna try to winch, see what this will do. Matt getting everything compacted. And Lizzie's cleaning snow. Yep, I don't do it very often, so <laughs> yeah. it's fun. This is different than sand. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's sitting right here on the rocker. This is the bad one. <laughs> Am I the only one working on that? We're, all waiting We're on trying not to get in your way. All right. <laughs> I was breaking things. Did I get to you? A foot shy. I'm gonna go check to see if the Dodge is still running. Here's Hillbilly, taking a nap. Taking a little siesta. I don't wanna get up. Oh yeah, I'm softer than my bed. My bed feels like laying on concrete. Can't even sleep on it. Come plop in the snow right here. You'll see how comfortable it is. You gotta plop. Is that not, is that not nice? That is nice. All right, we'll just take a nap while we wait. What the? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Glad it's you, not me. <laughs> I, I think the plan is, is to have tow meter back down to it, hook up to the front, like the bucket or somewhere up front, pick it up and teeter it on the back track, part of the track, slide the hoods underneath there and lower it back down. I think, but I have been known to be wrong more than once. Caught it! Now what? Nice driving, yeah. Rory! You got a good idea? Anybody? <laughs> Lift it, put hoods under it, and let's drag that sucker out. Pick it, pick I, it up think, I don't think we want to put skids on it where it's at, or it's no, going to no. go right down Oh, okay. There. I think we the should do the same thing, only different. Hey, that sounds perfect. Okay. We have no idea why it's not running. Oil pressure issue. So I'm wondering if we bypass it, just loop a wire to uh, create continuity. If it'll start, we just drive it up out of here and not break any. Where's that any. at? Can we get to it? Yeah, it's on the back side. That side of the motor. We can get this thing to start. Yeah, no, that would be huge. We're throwing an oil pressure, low oil pressure or something code. Hey, does anyone have a pair of needle nose? Is there are needle nose pliers up in there. Or even a flathead screwdriver. I got a pocket knife. What are you doing, Hillbilly? Popping the clip. It's a metal clip that holds the plug on. It goes around the outside. What did it work? That wire plug's the only one wire plug. So it's either got to be grounded or open. Okay, well, let's try this. Okay, Rory, get ready to start this thing. All right, we're going to try to start this. Hillbilly got something unhooked. See the oil pressure gauge 
sending unit or it's the oil pressure computer sending unit. We're about to find out. Iron hole. We're gonna hook that one back up and then we're gonna try this other sensor. So let's do that, Hillbilly. I'm not asking an oil pressure code when there's no chance of any oil pressure being the problem right now because it's not building any pressure. That's what it's sensing. Is it sensing that there is no oil pressure? Hillbilly really likes to dive into these. If you're clear, let's take a, let's take a crank real quick. He's all the way in it. Oh. He's ankle deep in this. Did you get it? No, not yet. We'll put that hose on. Let him try it with the seatbelt on. I'm going to cycle the glow plugs twice. Firing. Any exhaust coming out at all? Not even firing. It's not fueling. Yeah. Jumper must be dead. Should we grab that other jumper? Get the jumper pack hooked up so we can try to see if this thing will start. <laughs> If you didn't know, now you do. Bing bong. Sup, baby. <laughs> Take me to dinner. Exhaust coming out. It's not building pressure, getting hard or nothing. Maybe try adding some more fuel to it. Let's go get some diesel. Now we hurry up and wait. Crank. Might have been out of fuel. Any smoke? Try again. Going. No smoke or nothing. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of air in these lines. Look at that. Hillbilly's Mobile Mechanic Service. And then we've got Moab Motorsports. So between them, they'll get the started. <laughs> Some looky loos. Looky -loo. I'm a looky loo. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's just they ran out of fuel. Crank it for a minute. <laughs> Cycle the key a couple of times with the so the pump goes. Anything? Not yet. Okay, crank. That's all we got. Running out of juice. It's starting to flash the panel, so then it's not going to fire anything. But I don't know how she's going to get out. Should we take the cat out, smoke cat out, and then... Or shall we abandon the ship? I'd, I'd honestly come back in with another thing of fuel and uh, some charged battery packs. We still got a fight ahead of us once we get it running. We've still got all these to get off. The yeah. Mountain. So I mean, yeah. I'd almost call this a, a loss for the day. Hear that, hillbilly? What? Stop. You want to call it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go get the other two off the mountain because it's getting dark and cold, and this isn't moving. <laughs> we already tighten these up, and let's try it one more time. This one's at 1%. All right, this is Ready? all we got on the jump boxes. Here we go. It builds pressure and then as soon as you start cranking, we lose the pressure. I'm going to fire again. There we go. Oh, hey, no. No, freaking way. No way. Woo! No way. Go, 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 stop it! I told That's you guys. <laughs> Just keep going. This thing got awesome. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, holy crap! Woo. No yeah. way! Hillbilly gets to drive it, so he's pretty pumped now. We brought five gallons of fuel with us, never even thought to put it in. We put oil. That's our last no. ditch effort. Now, let's see if the hydraulic will work. That's what I was going to do. Are you going to dig her out of here? Try her. See if it moves. Let it get up to temperature. Well, but we got the back door. We might need the shovel, because that thing's going to be frozen into the dirt. Okay. Hillbilly, here's your prize. Thank you. This track's moving a tiny bit. That's all oh, nice. The other side doesn't cost nearly as much. 
Bring your flames to our work. I don't know if these tracks are going to move. When they when he's going forward reverse, these are these moving at all? I couldn't see them. Kind of kind of looks like, like they were. Maybe slightly. I'm just hitting. Well, and it's hard to tell the difference between the two. <laughs> What's well, good is it's not bogging the motor down. Huh? It should bog the motor down if you try and take off with the frozen. Oh. I know, but I mean, has it moved yet? Not yet. I think this one's twisted a little bit, the way it looks, but that might have been cleared out from when it was stuck the last time. Frozen. So these are all these are all the roller wheels, right? There's nothing up here. This is the drives right here. Okay, we've got both tracks now. Okay, we hooked on with the wheel. I think we around have... his bucket and brought him up. He come right there. Yeah. Right I where that Ford was. Can we do that? Right. We're gonna use the winch. I wanna put it right here. You, want, you think we can do it with just yours? Possibly. We should be able to. I wanna basket that right between the bucket. It's all the way around it. Just yeah, just basket it right back to itself. Okay. When he starts going, we just want Hillbilly to assist. We're gonna get this thing walked out. Everybody watch out. I did. We did. Okay, let's try to get it up on the main road. All the way to the shed, right? Yep. All the way to the shed? Good job, Robbie. Well, thank you. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> we I love came. the ups and downs of off-road recovery. Like, yeah, no, yeah. I, oh. I honestly thought we were leaving it. All right, well, let's head down and... We're gonna run a train. Snowcat's gonna be in the front, 550, Rory with Trailmater. We have the Dodge and then me on the back, just kind of as the brake. Let's get flipped around and out of here. I can see Hillbilly in the distance just doing us all a favor, plowing the road. We got that one going again. Now, you gotta try to get that 1500 through here. Lizzie made it through like a champ, so I should be able to make it through just fine. Got a soft shackle. Um, we're gonna hook up to Lizzie so Rory can pull her. She's a little stuck. Could be that wheel spinning. Oh really? Possibly. Okay. Yeah, because I don't. Know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you I little. Was so close. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Come around the corner, it's like, but I also this? let off because never, never lift. Lift. All gas, no brakes. On the hook.
Whoops, we got a little got a little crazy in the XJ. Took you guys long enough. You made yourself a fire, eh? My toes started getting a little cold. <laughs> so I'm staying nice and toasty. Is Brian here? Oh. Has he been here? I haven't seen him. Okay, so we thought our night was over. We got down to the bottom, we got them all out. Customer is stuck up at the top again. Me and Hillbilly are gonna barrel in the Jeep rather than loading up on the tow truck. We're headed back up for one last recovery tonight. My wife is gonna be so mad. Okay, so we're gonna hurry and pull this truck out. Looks a little familiar. Some people like to get stuck more than others. Deja vu. Okay, you guys ready? We'll pull him down this road, and then we'll get in front of him and pull him this way out. Yeah, he's on the drive line. Hey, go! Your drive line, your drive line. Well, fun. Looks like they're staying. I don't know if we're gonna get out of this in two-wheel drive. Yesterday was so awesome. It was super late when we got back, so it's the next day. We've had time to let the Jeep defrost. The recovery went awesome, but the real MVP of this recovery, Mr. Hillbilly. He was able to get the skid loader started. We got the tracks free, and he got that thing down the mountain with no issues. I was ready to give up. Hillbilly didn't give up, and it turned out epic. We had one small issue, we run the driveline out of the Jeep at the very end, and we ended up shattering our ring and pinion in the front end. So it looks like it's time to start a Jeep rebuild series. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you.